Hey guys, Christina here, and I'm going to give you a look today at the books that we read in our homeschool for the month of November 2018. Now, November was kind of an odd month, so I don't have a whole lot of books to share with you, um, but I have a few. So if you're new here, my children are 2, 5, 8, 9, and 11 right now. And so our first read aloud that we did was The Big Wave by Pearl S. Buck, and this went along with Our Story of the World. It's quite a short book. And it was a good story. It was interesting and the kids seemed to like it, so a very short, quick read. Then we moved on to this one. This is A Single Shard by Linda Sue Park. And this went along with our social studies as well, our uh, story of the world, um, because it takes place in Korea and I believe it's the 12th century. This was an interesting book. Um, I'm glad I read it. The kids were kind of like, meh. I felt like the way that the main character, Tree Ear, was treated, sometimes it was really sad and not very nice, but it was probably true to the time. So I'm glad we read it, but I don't think it's one of our favorites. It was okay. And then we moved on to which one? To this one. Along came Galileo, and this one along with our space unit. Now, I was actually really sick in November for a couple weeks, and so my husband read this book to the kids, so I actually haven't read it. I heard a few pages being read, but I actually need to put this on my pile to go back and read. The kids seemed to like it, though. My husband liked it and um, went along with the space unit. It was interesting, so that's that book, and it's by Janine Bendick, I think. Is that how you say that? That's that book there. And then we moved on to this one here. This is Shadow Spinner by Susan Fletcher. And I'm gonna be honest, we didn't finish this book. We made it, I think, yeah, around 50 pages out of like 200. It's about a quarter of the way and it was really hard to read because some of the words were just really hard to pronounce. And my kids just weren't into the story and I, I kinda wasn't into the storyline either. So we decided not to finish this book. So I don't know, if you finished this book and you found it got a lot better, let me know in the comments, but we never finished it. So then, on top of that, we also listen to audiobooks, and we listen to um, Space Case by Stuart Gibbs. And I have just a little picture there, that's the book there. This book was fantastic. Our entire family loved listening to it. It's a mystery, and it's one of those books where right up to the very, very end, you don't know who the murderer is. And it was just funny, and it, my kids enjoyed it, my husband and I enjoyed it, and we actually enjoyed it so much that we listened to the second one, which is called Spaced Out, because this is a three-part series about Moon Base Alpha, it takes place in space. And so we listened to this one, and that was really good as well. And um, there was a few things in there, I kind of as a parent was like, mm, where they're, maybe calling each other names or saying jerk or stupid. So it's definitely for kind of an older child. But like I said, our whole family liked it. We really, really enjoyed that author. And then we went on to listen to The King's Fifth. And we only got, I'd say about an hour into it. And the kids just weren't into it. They just weren't into the story at that time. I think the accent on the, um, the person reading it person who had an accent, it was hard to understand. So I definitely think that they would be interested in this story because it sounds like a great story, a lot of adventure, just not right now. So we stopped listening to that and we actually went back and we are listening to the third book now, <laughs> Waste of Space, which my son, my 11 year old, actually already read the book, which is why we have it. So he knows the story, but we don't. Um, this one I'm not finding is quite as good as the other two. There's a few other things in here. I'm just kind of like, eh, why'd you put those in there? But the whole series is really good. I don't know if you've um, heard or read anything by Stuart Gibbs. This was a kind of an introduction to us. I'd love to hear if you have read or listened to any of his books, what you thought about them, but definitely this, the Moon Base Alpha series. We really liked it. So then, my 11 year old, like I said, he read Waste of Space. He also picked up some other books by Stuart Gibbs spy school and the another one that's part of another series called belly up and he liked this one quite a bit the belly up he said it was okay um, so he's picked up quite a few books from that author he seems to really like him um, he also read to the moon by jeffrey kluger 
which I had read last month and I really, really liked it. And he was kind of like, eh. I think maybe he was a little young for it. Um, but it still had a lot of educational value and historical value, so I'm glad that he did read that book. And then he's also been reading the um, unfortunate series of unfortunate events, I think it's called. It's like a series of books, and he's really been enjoying those books. Now my nine-year-old and eight-year-old have not filled in what they read last month. Um, like I said, we had a lot of sickness going around and they just haven't caught up and filled those in, so I can't really tell you what they read, but they've been reading books here and there as well as lots of the Pokemon books. They really like the Pokemon books right now. Which brings it to me. So what did I read? So I finished reading The Keeper of Lost Things and I was kind of disappointed. It kind of took a turn in the middle-ish to a direction I really didn't think it was going to and I, I didn't really like it that much. It was okay. I finished reading it. Meh. But then I read um, The Read Aloud Family, which was fantastic. There was so much great advice. Uh, made me look at some things differently than I had for reading aloud. And then they have a fantastic part in the back where they break down by age like 20 of their top read alouds. And so I actually took that information, I went through our Audible account and added every single one that I could find to our wish list. So hopefully we're gonna be listening to a whole lot more um, of those recommended books because they just sound really good. And I actually took one out from the library to read myself for December, so thank you for the suggestion. Um, but it was just a fantastic book. I absolutely recommend it. Very, very good, no matter whether you homeschool or you don't homeschool. Really great information in that book. Um, other than that, I'm not reading a novel at the moment. I'm still working on this book. <sighs> still working on it. And I've actually been reading this book as well, His Needs, Her Needs, um, which has some really great advice in it. So I think that kind of sums up what we've been reading and what we read in November. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, or I'd love to hear what you've been reading. We're always looking for new suggestions. So please leave that down in the comment section below. Otherwise though, I hope you're having a great day. Take care.